first of all, I would like to apologize for not being able to speak to you personally today. I very much regret that I cannot be in Berlin in person today, but my first son is ill and I have to stay at home. The topic of sepsis was not present for me until three years ago. I never get in touch with this disease before. Then the fate of sepsis reached me and my family with all its harshness. At the beginning of 2019, my wife and I were expecting our second son. Maxime was due to be born in mid-June. In April 2019, together with our first son, Niklas, we had another beautiful vacation before fate changed our family forever. Because my wife and my unbound son died in the hospital as a result of an unrecognized sepsis. In May 2019, my pregnant wife felt very unwell and developed a high fever. We decided to see the gynecologist immediately. As a result, we were referred to the hospital. In one of the most renowned hospitals in Germany, a fate took place that day, which, which has seriously changed my life to this day. When we arrived at the hospital, my wife had a fever of 40 degrees. For a total of 16 hours, four doctors did not recognize that my wife was ill with sepsis. They thought the symptoms were the flu and gave her fever reducing medication. A few hours later, first, Maxime, my unborn son, died in my wife's belly. And the next day, my wife lost her battle against this insidious disease. It is still unbelievable to this day, the speed at which sepsis took half of my family. Before this fate, I had not dealt with the issue of sepsis. It was too abstract, and I did not know anyone who had suffered from sepsis before. Today, I know how important the fight for prevention is, because I assume that if doctors and nurses had been well trained or educated, my son and wife would still be alive today. Through many fortunate circumstances, I was able to meet Professor Reinhardt, who also encouraged me to become involved in the Sepsis Foundation and to speak to you here today. If you deal with the topic of sepsis, you quickly realize that a large number of deaths could have been avoided. Important aspects play a role here, such as education of the population, but also significantly improved training and education of doctors and nurses. Germany likes to see itself as a leading nation in the field of health. But unfortunately, we are only average when it comes to sepsis prevention. The education of the population and the early detection of sepsis must improve in Germany. This also requires political will, which unfortunately has not always been present in the recent years. Thanks to the work of the Sepsis Foundation and the many partners in Germany and worldwide, politicians now seem to have understood that, in addition to education on the topics of cancer or corona, comprehensive education on sepsis is urgently needed. Due to my personal fate, the importance of this work has become clear to me. Therefore, I will be involved in the Sepsis Foundation in the future and try to support Professor Reinhardt in his fight against sepsis. Thanks for your attention and the opportunity to have spoken to you here today.